Well, many believe international ports like Katusa could be our country's national security weak link. Earlier, I visited with Donald Hamilton, the executive director of the Memorial Institute for the Prevention of Terrorism. It feels as if there are many more security measures now in place. Also feels as if there's many more threats now in, in place. Am I just being naive that were those threats already there and we just didn't know about them? The world is different. It's not that there are more threats, there are more serious threats. The willingness to kill thousands, the willingness to kill hundreds of thousands, even millions now exists in a way it did not exist 25 or 30 years ago. I have little doubt that Al-Qaeda, if they got their hands on a functioning atomic bomb, would do everything they could to set it off. They wouldn't stockpile it. They wouldn't use it for leverage. Um, they, they would not be in a situation, uh, in the situation you've, in which you find India and Pakistan, where they sort of menace each other with their atomic weapons. Uh, they would set it off. Uh, and they would have no reason to wait. The longer they would hold it, the greater the chance it would be discovered that it would be taken away from them. So, yes, it is a more dangerous world because there's a willingness uh, to inflict massive casualties. Now I continue my conversation with Donald Hamilton on our website, where we also have a story on a unique program training students for law enforcement jobs in a world where terrorism is a growing threat. Basically, is it's a end of the year project where the students take all that they've learned from the year and they get a chance to apply, um, apply it to a real situation. To see more on how students are learning to make life and death decisions, just head to OklahomaRising.com and click on this week's value add.